rub than these two men meeting in the final. He steps up here to 52. That's the 18 year old from the Sadaria region of Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan with a full complement of 10 boxes across all the weight classes. The seven man team for Japan, Ayato Tsutsumi through to the semi-finals. Only Japanese representative of their seven strong squad to make it through to the bronze medal bout. We are in the 52 kilogram flyweight division and the man who has just helped himself to a cracking left hand out of that southpaw stance is Otabek Kolmatov, 18 years of age. He's the man wearing blue. The man in red is the Japanese boxer Hayato Tsutsumi, 17 years of age. Japan with no boxers above 75 kilograms in their complement of seven men who traveled to Russia. Beautiful counter right hand that time, and there's the same shot again from Tsutsumi. Terrific start by both boxers, but the man who's having the better portion of this previous 30 seconds or so is the man in red, after the man in blue made a very strong start with that southpaw left. But look at the counter punch picking that's being exhibited by Hayato Tsutsumi. Targeting the body in that poking right hand, the right hand often a Good antidote against the southpaw boxer, and he's using that to terrific effect after being tagged with a strong southpaw left to begin the session. Oh, there's that cracking right hand once again. Hayato Satsumi, despite being the shorter man, is content to stay in the pocket and let Kolmatov lead off, and when he does so, He's beating him to the punch. There's the same tactic once more. Terrific counter punching being exhibited by Hayato Tsutsumi. Found his rhythm and range immediately in the first half of this round. The two men trading body shots right on top of the logo. And there you see Tsutsumi beating the taller opponent to the jab. The jab all about timing. Multi-weight world champion Emil Griffith was often the shorter man during his reign as the welterweight and middleweight champion of the world. And the man from the Virgin Islands used the jab to terrific effect. That old school practitioner was in the Boxing Hall of Fame. There have been countless shorter punches down the years with a good southpaw left get through from Otterbeck Kolmatov. Just a triple of blood coming from the nostril of Tsutsumi. Cut man not in evidence in Aida Youth Boxing, but look at the repeated right hand success being enjoyed by Tsutsumi. And now turning punches underneath and around the corner as well. So not only straight punches in his arsenal, but arcing punches in the form of an uppercut and hook are part of the weaponry. But there is that language south for left once again, and that's been the best punch of the contest so far for Kolmatov. Uzbekistan national champion at 49 kilograms last year, adding to the junior title he took at 44 kilograms back in 2014. What an opening round of boxing. Because Hayato Satsumi, just as he was in the closing stages at the opening of the round, he was tagged by a long staff poor left hand from this man, Otabek Kolmatov. But in between those bookends of what was a terrific opening round of boxing, Satsumi enjoyed terrific counter-punching success. There's the left hand from Kolmata, but there's the counter-punching from the shorter boxer in red. Timing, making the man miss, and making him pay both the head and body. But then the left hand came back into it once again in the closing stages for Kolmata. 
And all of those elements combined to produce a fascinating first three minutes in our first semi-final of session number 15 here at the Seber Arena in St. Petersburg. So to the second round we go. Aito Satsumi, the Japanese high school champion at 52 kilograms, won that title earlier this year after his continental youth success, taking 52 kilogram gold, winning four bouts out of four in Pavlodar, Kazakhstan to take that title. He participated in St. Petersburg last year at the Junior World Boxing Championships, but lost in the first preliminary round. But here he is, assured a medal. Now, what color will it be? Terrific accomplishment by both of these boxers. The, the flyweight tournament populated by 38 athletes. Counter right hand success once more for Satsumi. 38 boxers started the flyweight tournament on the second day of the competition. And here on the penultimate day, these two of the final four have assured themselves championship medals. And of course, they would love to get to the final and being with a shout of gold. Good right hand once again, with an arcing shot around the corner, but look at that for a rapier straight right hand. Satsumi inside the arcing left that was fired out by Kolmatov and then he followed it up put the man in blue on the back foot and if he doesn't tighten up that arc of motion for his shots Kolmatov he could well be countered by this boxer who possesses wonderful reflexes those injury requiring attention once again but Satsumi remaining incredibly focused just beyond the midpoint of this second round Again, Kolmatov falling short with his shots. Third, fourth bout of the tournament for Satsumi, having received a bye in his opening bout. Unanimous point decision victor over Sofon Klachun of Thailand. 4-0 victor over Hamsat Shadlov of Germany. A unanimous 5-0 winner over Jack Bowen of Australia. That's the route of progression through to the final four for Heito Sutsumi. No buy in the opening round for Paul Matov, so this is his fifth bout of the tournament. Planting his feet, there's a good left uppercut that got through. Sutsumi tries to respond with the same shot. Both men looking for an avenue in between the high-held guards by turning the shot underneath. In that previous passage of boxing. Good right hand just above the belt line. That'll take it out of the legs. Right hand is an effective shot once more for Satsumi. Wonderful footwork in the closing stages of that opening round by the Japanese boxer. to the third and final round then of what has been a wonderful contest to begin this 15th session of boxing here at the Seber Arena and it's tightening up the punches now out of that southpaw stance is Otabek Kolmatov contesting his fifth bout of the tournament 4-1 winner over Fat Gideon Kamrov of Kyrgyzstan then a unanimous point decision victory over the man from Hungary Istvan Zaka 
same margin of success over Nicaragua's Darwin Martinez. And a points victor of Luis Reynaldo Nunez of Dominican Republic. Good work to the body with that left hand from Satsumi and then comes back upstairs off the lean back, cracked home a right hand and is continuing to target the body during this stationary toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange right on top of the logo in the middle of the boxing ring. And I think he came out a distant second best during that exchange but here comes Kyle Matov with his own fusel art of punches now. And both men putting an awful lot into this. Just a weary glance to his corner over his left shoulder. What a right hand. Bingo right on the button once again. But Kolmatov doesn't blink and comes back with his own work to the body. Satsumi though, targeting the head terrifically with a pinpoint accurate right hand pot shot. Then he whips it downstairs in bolo fashion just above the belt line of the man in blue. And credit to Otterbeck Kolmatov who took some serious punishment during the opening half of this round, but he remains competitive and he's coming back with shots of his own. In stark contrast, Satsumi is putting an awful lot into these attacks, getting that nose injury checked by the ringside doctor. Action resumes as the referee and the ringside medic are happy. And look at that, that was like a burst on the heavy bag from Hayato Satsumi. Once the action resumed, he planted his feet and just pistoned out his hands, left and right, left and right, for at least an eight-punch combination. Many of them were repelled, but he was keeping the man in blue occupied because he was so busy erecting the fortification that he couldn't score with any offense of his own. Toe-to-toe -to -toe once more, no quarter ass, none given. Double up, double left hand success from Karl Matov, and now he comes back with a burst of punches. Both boxers content to lean on in the closing minute of this final round. Satsumi has been the busier boxer, but neither of these men want to leave it to chance. They want to do everything within their power to try and progress through to the gold medal bout. And in the closing seconds, who can leave that strong finish to resonate in the mind of the judges? More right-hand success from Satsumi. And it's he who's provided the more eye-catching conclusion to this third and final round. What an all-action contest we have had in the 52-kilogram flyweight division to get our boxing underway here in this 15th session at the Seaber Arena. Absolutely wonderful. Both boxers assured a place on the medal podium, but both of them incredibly keen to ensure it was they who went through to the gold medal bout. I suspect it's this man, but that counts for nothing. Remember, there are five judges ringside, and unlike previous Aiba tournaments of recent times, with three of the five would be used to determine the outcome of the bout in the event we went to points. This is the first tournament since Rio 2016, where all five judges, their scores are being used. Hayato Tsutsumi is through to the gold medal bout by the narrowest of bodies. A split decision winner, three judges to two, over Otterbeck Kolmatov. The reigning Asian silver medalist down at 49 kilograms in this just his second tournament up at 52. He's eliminated at the semi-final stage, but he comes away with a brilliant bronze medal. And if this 18-year-old continues to mature into the weight, he's certainly going to be a force to be reckoned with on the global scene. And that's most certainly the case for Hayato Satsumi. Eliminated in the first preliminary round at the World Junior Championships last year, he's through to contest the World Youth Championship gold here in St. Petersburg after a hard-fought victory over his opponents from Uzbekistan. Hayato Satsumi is through to the gold medal bout in the 52 kilogram flyweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, the bout two flyweight division up to 52 kilograms.
Judges for the next contest, Morocco, South Korea, Canada, Sri Lanka, Russia. Referee from Azerbaijan for Aslana. And in the Costa Rica, we welcome the 